As a crafter and a scrapbooker, we have so many choices for the tools that we can use and how we can approach our projects. But I have to say, there is something really satisfying about a paper punch. They are easy, quick, and fun, and nothing quite is as satisfying as when you can just punch your way into something really beautiful. Of course, one of the challenges with punches is that they come in so many different sizes, shapes, and formats, and they each do a little something different. So the key really is to have these beauties at your fingertips so that you can use them when you are ready to create one of your projects. Now it can be a little tricky to try to find a way to store and organize all these punches in your craft room. So how do we get a handle on punch organization? Well, stay tuned and I will show you three ideas for quick and easy organization so you can have your favorite punches right at your fingertips. Hi, my name is Lauren Hines and I'm the maker and creator behind Craft Some Joy and I am so excited that you are here on my channel. And on my channel, you will find a lot of videos both on how to organize your craft room, tips and technique videos on how to use some of these tools, and also my favorite, which are scrapbooking and Friday Night Lives, where we can actually craft and scrap together. So before we jump in and talk about my three tips I have for you, I just wanna give a big shout out to Skillshare. I was truly excited to partner with Skillshare because they are a resource that I have used and love. Many of you know how much I enjoy teaching, especially here on YouTube, but I also love learning and Skillshare provides incredible content on just about anything you can imagine. I have personally taken classes to learn Adobe products like Illustrator for lunch with Helen Bradley and Premiere Pro Essentials training with Daniel Scott. And there is an endless supply of classes like these that you can take in all areas, including illustration and photography. And something I have heard requested quite a bit, which is how do you edit photos and how do you take better photos. Skillshare has all of that for you. Now, what is also exciting is that you can join Skillshare for less than $10 a month with an annual membership, and then you will have exceptional resources just a click away. And if you're interested, you can check the link in the description of this video. And if you are one of the first 1000 to click the link in the description, you will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership. So I hope you can take advantage of this wonderful opportunity and join me in doing some learning through Skillshare. So let's jump in and talk about the three tips I have for you. And I want to start by just mentioning that a while back I made a video which actually went over how to create yet another one of my favorites. And this is my punch inventory binder. And one of the things I was finding is that I needed a way to kind of have a document or a list of all the different manufacturers and all the different types of punches, but also how they punched. And so I decided to go ahead and use baseball card sleeves and then just cut cardstock so that I would have access to all the different punches and could see exactly what they looked like. Now, one of the reasons that I did this inventory binder is because as you can see, the punches are all different sizes and I was not able to have my punch collection out visible in front of me and kind of displayed around me. I just don't have that much room in my craft room. So I needed kind of a compact way to be able to take a look at my punches and decide if there was something here that I would like to use. So that was where I started was with my punch inventory binder. I also created a video which you can see linked here which went over how I was using 
one of my first tips, which is IKEA drawers. And these are the IKEA Helmer cabinets. And believe me, they are still one of my favorite ways to store my punches. Now, when I first started, everything fit into these three cabinets. And I was really excited. I was able to categorize everything, keep it all by seasons and events and the types of punches and all my punches fit into the drawers. So that is also a tip that I have for you, which is your storage really needs to depend on the size of punch collection that you have. Now, I do know I'm a little overboard, but I know that there's a lot of you out there that are also overboard with me. So I'm not gonna be embarrassed and I'm gonna just show you my entire punch collection because as I mentioned, punches are one of my favorite tools. But I do have to mention that the only downside is that punches are heavy. And so the drawers can only take so many punches in the drawers before they get too full. And they are very hard to open once they are loaded down with punches. So when I first used the Helmer drawers, I found that my border maker collection from Creative Memories was able to fit in one of the drawers. And then I realized that my border maker collection was growing because these are some of the tools that I love and they keep coming out with new ones all the time. So I needed to kind of have another solution of where I could keep my border maker cartridges, which is a type of punch that would give me some flexibility. So one of the things I really like is being able to see my punches with the design kind of lifted to the front. So if you are an Ikea fan, then this is another tip for you on storing your punches. I was able to use not only the Ikea Alex cabinet, but I also took the acrylic frames, which you might have seen in my craft room tour, and I used those frames to also store my border maker cartridges in the Alex drawer. Now, the reason I did this was because, again, these punches can be very, very heavy. And so once you get a stash of these punches together, they can cause the drawer to bow and not open correctly. So two tips I have for you, if you would like to store something heavy, like punches in your Alex drawer unit, is to, one, use wood glue when you are putting your drawers together. That does really help reinforce your drawers. So definitely, as you're building each drawer, add a ribbon of wood glue to those drawers. And then secondly, find a way to kind of evenly distribute the weight of the punches. And that's what I was able to do by using these acrylic frames in my Alex drawer units. And this system worked really well for me for quite a while. I really enjoyed being able to open the top drawer of my Alex unit and then being able to glance at all the different designs that I had for my border cartridges. And I would have my drawers right next to my workstation so that it would be easily accessible. So remember, that's a tip I have for you, is if you want to use this wonderful inventory of punches that you have, you really have to have them accessible. Now my second tip for you on how to store your punches is not only the drawers from Ikea are phenomenal for using, but also if you have some of the cubes from Michaels, now this would be the older recollections cubes like you have seen in my craft room tour in my wall of cubbies, but some of the drawers are actually really perfect if you have a smaller punch collection and you can use the cubes that have the two drawers and they fit some of the Creative Memories border punches and some of the standalone punches just perfectly. So if you happen to have some of the Recollections cubes and a smaller punch collection, that is a wonderful way to store them. Again though, my tip for you is to make sure that you have some kind of a record of what's in those drawers tucked away, 
like a punch inventory binder or even a ring with all the different punches on it. In addition to the two drawer cubes from Michaels, the three drawer cubes also offer another way of storing punches. Again, I just would also caution that punches can get heavy and just to be aware of how much you're going to store in the drawers and how much those drawers can hold with your punches. Then I ended up finding that once again, my collection was growing and I went looking for yet another solution. And I did a lot of looking and a lot of Googling and a lot of different looking at people's craft rooms for how they had their punches stored. And I found that, at least for me, my situation was a little bit unique in the fact that I love Creative Memories punches and I have quite a collection of both border punches and freestanding punches, as well as border maker cartridges. But I also love other brands of punches because punching, like I said, is just kind of my thing. So I wanted to find a way that I could not only display and use my Creative Memories collection, kind of like you would display baseballs or Ray Dunn pottery, right? This is my way of kind of displaying what I've decided to invest in as far as tools for my craft room. And especially the Creative Memories border cartridges, border punches, and freestanding punches, I decided to invest in a new product which I had not tried before and I have to say I really enjoy. So my third tip for you in how you can store your punches in your craft room is with stamp and storage units. And I know that I may be a little late to the party with my stamp and storage units, but I have to say I am in love. So before I ordered my units, I took an inventory of all the punches that they had units for that I wanted to be able to see. And so I decided that one of my priorities was my Creative Memories punches and they have special units that are just made for storing my Creative Memories punches and my border maker cartridges. In addition to the awesome units that they have for the Creative Memories punches, they also have a specially designed unit just for lockdown punches. And that's where I really wanted to have some of my favorite Stampin' Up! punches, as well as the EK Success punches, all again within my reach and visible so that I could easily see what punch I have and what the design was. So in order to address my entire collection, I did end up investing in six different stamp and storage units, but I really couldn't be happier. Everything now is right in front of me. All it takes is a quick glance up and I can see all of my punches, shapes, border maker cartridges and designs that I have, and I am using them so much more. So it's kind of like what I brought up with the sticker binder video. And if you haven't checked out that video, make sure you check out the link in the video here. And what I did is made sure that if I needed a title sticker, everything was now organized in one place. I loved being able to see what I had and to use what I had because I had it in a place that was easily accessible and that I could see. So my punches, even though they are a lot bigger and a lot heavier, they are now in an easily accessible place that I can see. So I am using them more. Now, while we are talking about all the different types of punches, I also want to let you know about a really cool tool that I found, and this is called the Magnum Power Punch. And I will leave a link for this in the description. And you can also find links for these and some of my favorite punches on my Shop My Favorite Things page on my website at craftsomejoy.com. But the way this 
power punch works is pretty clever and this is perfect for these older big button punches that as you know are really kind of tricky to punch so in order to use the power punch you just grab your punch open the handle place your punch in so that you can access the slot to put your paper in Go ahead, slide your paper in, and then make sure that the circle is on top of the button, if it is a button punch, or on top of one of the other buttons if it's a different type of punch. And then all you have to do is press down, and then it's made a beautiful punch for you without having to struggle. And even with the thicker cardstock, you'll find that this power punch helps get your punches through the paper. So this also works with some of these older punches that still have buttons and you would just do the same thing, which is add your punch to the platform, grab a piece of paper, slide it in, make sure that the handle is gonna come down on the button, press down, and again, a very easy punch using a handle instead of your thumbs. So if you're like me and you love your punches, this is a handy tool to add to your craft room in order to help with some of these trickier older button punches. Now just to wrap up, I wanted to just go over how I decided to categorize and choose which punches I wanted to have out in front of me and which punches I was going to store in my Helmer drawers. So at this point, I have taken all of the different punches out of my Alex drawers, the wider drawers from Ikea, and I have moved them back into the three Helmer cabinets that I have. So my idea is that the three Helmer cabinets now house a lot of all of the miscellaneous sized punches that are theme oriented. So I have a drawer of all my star punches and I have a drawer of all my leaf punches and I have a drawer of birthday and a drawer of spring, summer, fall, and winter. So these are kind of my category drawers where if I'm looking for a specific event or season or time of year, I know I can open that drawer and I will have access to a lot of different types of punches that will give me the shapes for what I'm working on. Now, the punches that I wanted to have easily accessible in front of me were the punches that were a little more general in nature, you might say. So the punches that have a shape that I could use for layering and creating embellishment clusters and some very basic shapes. And just because I love the Creative Memories brand, I also just wanted these, no matter what punch it was, I wanted to be able to see it and use it, especially because I do quite a few videos on using Creative Memories products. And the units that I chose to house my Creative Memories punches are also right on my workspace and easily accessible and something that I can glance and see what I have and be able to grab it and use it. So there are my three tips and ideas on how you can store your punches in your craft room to have them easily accessible so that you can pull them out and make some really fun additions to your scrapbook pages or to your craft projects. So we talked about using the Ikea drawers, both the Alex drawer units and the Helmer drawer units, as well as the Michaels Recollections cubes, the older models of the cubes. And again, my favorite newest addition, which is the Stampin' Storage units, so that now with just a glance, I can see the perfect punch to add just that right embellishment to my page. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to hear some of your comments and some clever ways that you have to store your punches in your craft room. Until next time, I hope you take time to craft some joy and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care.